Another example, 86,400 seconds in a day. But look at the mean diameter of Jupiter, 86,400. And look at the mean diameter of the sun, 864,000 miles. The orbital speed of the moon is 86,400 kilometers per day. And you've got 864,000 kilometers per day for the orbital speed of Saturn. Now, is this all coincidental? And yet, we ended up exactly with 86,400 seconds in a day? I tell you what, the people that came up with our time system were absolute genius. I mean, that is incredible. Or maybe is it just writ in the fabric of consciousness? And all of these are harmonic ratios, right? Every single one of these. And notice you'll take three cubed and then two to all its powers and you end up with these numbers, 54, 108, 216, right, 432. By the way, 432 squared is the speed of light in miles per second. And so you'll see these numbers over and over and over again. You see 216, right, minutes in a 360 degree compass. 2,160 are the sum of interior angles of a cube. 2,160 miles is the diameter of the moon. Look at all of this order. It's astounding. So we have an ordering system as well around the number 24. Now, are there 25,920 years in procession or is it 24,000? I believe it averages out at 24,000 because if we get closer to Sirius A, things speed up. And as things speed up, I believe our average in that point in time ends up going down to 21,600, which is related to that moon cycle, okay? And as, as we get farther away, it sort of slows down and goes to 25,920. Now, if we average 21,600 plus, right, do a weighted average, just like we did up there, plus 21,600 and 25,920, then you end up with an average right at 24,000. And that's probably what it is. Now, what's the magic of 24? Well, Fibonacci numbers end up, if you look at them in digital root, and digital root is just a simple mathematical technique. You take a number like 27, it's digital root equals 9, because 2 plus 7 equals 9, right? So if I had a digital root of, you know, for, for the number 13, what would it be? 1 plus 3 equals 4, right? And all you have to do is keep going. This is kind of the same math that you do in numerology. Same type thing, but nobody ever wants to look at it in academic circles because they call it numerology. Well, but guess what? Number theorists use this all the time to find and identify patterns. And Fibonacci numbers do this over here. So I mentioned that Fibonacci numbers are one, one, two, so one plus two is three, two plus three is five, then eight, then 13, because one plus three equals four. Then it goes, to 21, 2 plus 1 equals 3. Then it goes to 34, 3 plus 4 equals 7. Then 55, 5 plus 5 equals 1. You always reduce it down to one digit. Now what's interesting that comes out of this is this pattern repeats itself every 24 numbers. So the Fibonacci pattern repeats every 24 numbers. And not only that, but actually the 180 degree opposites always sum to the number 9. 1 plus 8 equals 9, 1 plus 8 equals 9, 2 plus 7 equals 9, 3 plus 6 equals 9, 4 plus 5 equals 9, 8 plus 1. It just comes to 9 all the way around. And what's interesting is that if you look at all polygonal geometry, the sum of interior angles will always sum to 9. So 360 degrees, 180 degrees is a triangle, right? Triangle. So what's a square? 360. 360. Okay. What's a pentagon? 540. 5 plus 4 equals 9. What's a hexagon? 720. 7 plus 2 equals 9. Right. What is a heptagon? 900. If you guys know that, then I would give you a prize probably. 900 degrees, and that adds up to 9, of course. Then an octagon is 1080, which adds up to 9. All right, then you got 1260, still adds up to 9. Then you have 1440, still adds up to 9. 
every polygonal geometry and all polyhedra will always sum to the number nine.